Titans head coach Mike Vrabel. We are here in Phoenix, Arizona at the 2023 annual meetings. And I'm interested to know what are some of the most important pieces of information that you have learned throughout your time in Phoenix? Well, it's, um, it's become a lot about player safety and, and how we make the game uh, better, more exciting, uh, more competitive, but also safer you know, and healthier for our players. That's, that's something that's, you know, that we have to continue to look at and, and, and make sure that we're teaching it properly and, and, and the rules um, help us do those things. As a member of the competition committee, how do you balance the obvious need to keep the game as safe as possible and do whatever you can do to prevent injuries and prevent some of the violent plays that can happen in this game while also preserving kind of the integrity of the game and what makes football football? How do you balance those two? Well, it's, the game is going to be violent. It's, it's played by professional athletes um, that, that embrace that, that lifestyle and the, and the sport. It'll be fast. Uh, it'll be physical. Uh, but but we also want to make sure that there's rules in place that will, will lend themselves to, um, you know, players having other options, right? You don't want to use the helmet as a weapon. Um, there, there's going to be helmet contact. How do we reduce that? How do we make those, um, the, the force of those contacts uh, as minimal as possible? In some of the times that we've talked to you recently, you've cited data and studies and different information that you've gathered is that indicative of maybe a push or an extra effort to maybe incorporate some numbers, analytics, different research into your preparation? Yeah, for and we season? can say analytics, and then that's, mm-hmm. that's fantastic in understanding, um, you know, what those numbers mean and, and really trying to um, understand how do you use them and, and how do you prepare, plan practices or uh, train or, or Know, get the players to um, be prepared for the season. You know, we talk about the first few weeks of training camp and we talk about the time on the field or you know, how many days in a row or the load management. Uh, so those things are critical. The guardian caps um, and that data uh, from the impacts and th- the ability to reduce uh, the force between two players that, that have them on. So, you know, those are some really, really cool numbers. So the numbers are more another tool in your tool. It is, yeah. I mean, I think you have to try to combine, you know, just like we try to do on the field, what the, what the numbers would say and what the analytics, analytics would say in, in, in certain situations, uh, then having a feel for the, the, the game and where it's at, and then also going back to you know, health and safety is understanding what the numbers look like and then being able to translate that to preparation. You're starting your sixth season as the head coach of the Tennessee Titans. Wow, how time flies. Yes, first. it goes quick. <laughs> um, how, are you noticing that maybe you're tweaking or refining your approach a little bit less every offseason? I know you change things every year, but maybe the, the changes are a little more minute? Well, I don't know. I mean, I think it just depends on, on what it is that, it, that we're talking about. It could be, you know, a, a personnel group. Uh, could be a you know a position group. Excuse me. Uh, you know we've had had some had changes on the offensive staff. We added a few uh, new coaches, some, some new faces. Um, we'll have some new players that'll come in. We've already added some of those. So um, you know, I mean, I think that the change you not you don't want to change just to change. You want to figure out what you do, what you do well, and, and continue and enhance that. And the things that you don't do well, you you know you have some areas of focus that you have to improve on. One change that struck me was a little bit of a change to the routine of the off-season program where mandatory minicamp happens in between two weeks of OTAs. What was the thought process behind making that shift? And maybe are you trying to accomplish something different in the latter half? Just wanted to try to move it up and use the entire week. You know, we'd always done that last week where it was like, you come in, physicals are Monday, you know, practice Tuesday and Wednesday, you go bowling, fishing, golfing, whatever it may be. Uh, that that last day and get them out of there. We're just, you know, try to try to move the the week up uh, to to take advantage of the entire week of of practice for minicamp. The Titans are going to London. This will be the second time that you've done that as a head coach. Now, are there things that you're going to take from the first time to inform your decisions on? Yeah, the just second have a time? yeah, just be able to execute that two point play better, <laughs> and then we'll uh, we'll come home across the pond. I thought more Uh, like travel, maybe. Oh, (laughs) sorry. No, there was nothing. They were amazing. I think that 
that everything that we did in our, you know, our operations department um, to get us over there. Um, loved every bit of that. Um, you know, try to let the players see a little bit of the of the city, um, and but also get them prepared to play uh, in a, in a different country. You're facing a roster that's coming up this season that is going to look a lot different than it has in the past couple of years, maybe look a little bit younger. Um, are you excited about the opportunity to start building those relationships with a new crop of guys? Yep, we're excited for anybody that, that comes uh, into the building, uh, whether that's uh, now or at April 17th. Um, always excited to continue those uh, relationships. And you know, I think there's a fine line between, you know, trying to keep those relationships as strong as during the season and the off season understand that the players you know we all need some time away you know we, we're around each other for for a lot of a lot of time during the season and so I really appreciate um, their ability to communicate with us is where they're going uh, who they're going to be training with and and the communication um, just that we that the players have with our our coaches and, and our staff. How do you balance the desire to teach and really get these guys up to speed with what you like to do as a coach, as a teacher, as all of that, um, but also not overload them so early? Well, I think we'll just start and, and give them what they can handle. Uh, we have a lot of different time, we have different times to be able to install different things. And so, you know, we always refer back and we come back and, and circle back through and um, continue to build that foundation. So we'll start where we, where we always start with the general knowledge and uh, terminology. Um, some of that will change, um, and I think that it's good so that we all – so I have to learn new terminology and the coaches have to and the players have to. I think that that's a good time to do it. Um, we'll give it to them once. We'll come back. We'll give it to them again, see what sticks. We'll add the rookies. We'll start back over again. So it's a continual uh, building of a foundation uh, through the off season, and then – take a little break, come back to training camp, see kind of where things are at, see where you need to, to reinforce some, some teaching, and then, uh, and then start to practice it. As a coach who's such a relationship-driven guy and who really enjoys getting to know these guys, not just as players, but as human beings and having them in the building and having them around, it's got to be an exciting time for you, right? Getting close? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think for, <laughs> for the first time, you know, we're starting to get around that two-week window and, and really starting to um, come together with the draft eval um, pro days, but then not losing sight of what's the most important thing is that's the players that are on our roster. Are you ready to get back to work? Are you starting to feel that? I am ready that? to get back to work. <laughs> well, Mike Rabel, thank you so much for taking some time to talk to us.